Jeffrey Epstein 2.0 in uh, Puff Daddy. And uh, have you been following the news? What's going on there? A little bit. All right. So, so the dude uh, had these freak parties, and he would invite all the elites and people in entertainment and music and whatnot. And it, it, they'd hold these private parties where they would just get their freak on. There was a lot of uh, sex trafficking, a lot of drugs. And he has a lot of uh, blackmail uh, for some pretty important people. And I, I classify this with, with Epstein because the, they arrested him and they revoked bail mm. and they sent him to the same prison that Jeffrey Epstein was in when he suicided himself. And so Jeffrey Epstein, same story, had a lot of dirt on important people and he happened to uh, get, get killed off. Um, do you think the fate of Puff Daddy is that he's going to die before he has a chance to share his secrets? Um, make the prediction. I'm going to say no on this one. Um, but boy, yeah, what a, uh, that one, but P Diddy Puff that, what, what does he go by? What is, what is he called? Just did, who, who cares? Diddy. We'll call him Diddy. Uh, just a garbage, okay. he's a garbage musician. Like, he's not even a music. Like what? I don't know whatever, how he ever got famous or whatever else. Like, um, yeah, before, I mean, <laughs> Before all these crimes, he, had to be, he pretty much had a – he was a crime against fucking talent because, yeah, it just I don't understand why that guy ever got big to begin with. And then, yeah, like these celebrities and stuff where this, with, where this sort of thing happens, it's like I don't know how somebody doesn't step in at some point and be like, yeah, this is really messed up. Like why would – I guess I just don't know how this is allowed to happen or how somebody doesn't come in and squash this before it, it turns into this crazy – money power, you know, uh, this crazy money power thing, which is clearly what I think happened there. Well, I, I think that you just get to a level of celebrity and you, you have so much influence and power that you don't think the rules apply to you anymore. And so basically you just follow all of the vice, like every, every demon on your shoulder gets a really loud voice. And so I, I really think very low of people in that I, I would not be surprised if a majority of those people did not delve into those really putrid behaviors as we're seeing here. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I can't comprehend a level of fame that high where you just thought like that the rules didn't apply to you. Um, I guess that's what's happening there, but yeah, that's the whole, the, the whole, uh, the whole situation with that is just, yeah, it's, it's weird. Who, what did I see? Everybody's like, there's a bunch of people that are scrubbing their Twitter accounts. Like they're dumping all their tweets. Yeah. It's like, for any kind of connection or any kind of whatever, you know what I mean? Like, so that's, yeah, that's, that's a little suspicious. Yeah. See, I, I think Epstein, it was harder to unearth those people because the people who were in control of that, that power, he had dirt on them. So you can see them not wanting to bring senators and congressmen and mayors and governors and, and whatnot. But this was on the entertainment side. I think they'll throw those dirty laundry, that dirty laundry out there pretty quick mm. because the powerful, they, they can't stop it in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see who what what, what the fall is. Goes down. Who goes down with them? Because yeah, you got, you, you got to think there's at least going to be a few. Yeah, I and I, I think some of them won't surprise us. I mean, the people who you thought were terrible people mm -hmm. and and whatever. But I think there's going to be some some surprises in this one. I think it's going to be pretty big.